In this video, I'm going to share with you the automation modes that exist in Pro Tools and your options for automating. Now, in a previous video, we went through all the automation lanes where you can see to input your own data. But if you're using a controller, you can also use those to record the input data. Now, if you use the shortcut command and numpad 4, it will open the automation window. It can be found up here, automation. Uh, or that's uh, control and numpad 4 on a PC. Now, this little window here, allows you to suspend all automation, writing or reading. You can choose what you can write automation to. So you can choose whether the plugins can be written to, the volume, the send volume, the panning, the send panning, the mute and the send mute. And then this is a Dolby Atmos stuff object and bus as well. And then you've got the choice here to manually write back to start to end, to selection, to punch point, punch point in, punch point out. We're not going to worry too much about these, but I do want to illuminate that these are important. If you're going to be using controllers, you need to make sure that you can actually automate the volume. So I will give you an example of this. Don't worry too much about what I'm doing. I'm about to explain it all. I'm going to do some volume automation. I'm going to mute this track as well. I'm going to do some volume automation on my voice here using my hardware controller. I've got an Avid S1. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that was what that looked like. That was me moving the fader up and down doing the volume automation. Now, if this was not on, Five, moving the fader. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what you'll see is it's just moved the overall volume because it's not set up to record volume automation. We can alt click there to get that back to zero. So make sure that the settings you want to automate are red in the automation window. 